Welcome back, it's your guy Engineer Mojo back with another car maintenance video. Today we're gonna to be working on my 2003 first generation Toyota Tacoma. We're gonna to be changing out the gear oil to the rear differential right behind me. We're gonna start off fast, tools you'll need are a wire brush, just to clean the surfaces that you'll be removing, drain and fill plug. You'll need two crush washers. And I've ordered this straight from Amazon. It actually gave me washers for my front differential, rear differential, and transfer case. I'll provide the part number down below for the official Toyota uh, part number that you can order this either online like I did or at your local Toyota dealership. You'll need a 24 millimeter socket and you'll need a socket wrench. So you may also need a breaker bar depending on how tight these plugs are on. It's possible that you'll need a torque wrench now I'll say that this tool is optional and I'll explain later on in the video why I personally feel it's optional per the service manual. It's not optional, but I feel it is. I'll let you know why. You also need gear oil. As you see, and I'll show you later on in the video, I have 75 weight 90. This is not what is in the owner's manual as specified. They specify SEA, SAE 90. If it's above zero degrees Fahrenheit is your normal operating temperature or below zero degrees Fahrenheit, they specify 80 weight dash 90 SAE fluid. And you'll also need some kind of oil catch pan so that you can properly catch the gear oil that is old and dispose of it properly. That's all you need. Let's get this show started. Here you have your rear differential. This is right in line with your rear tires um, and your rear axle. I have my catch pan in place and if you see here here is the fill plug there's there's some linkage in the way but I'll just kind of bend that out the way just to remove this fill plug and then you have the drain plug right here like I said as I get started I'll just kind of clean this up a little bit it's pretty grimy right now so let's do a quick clean job this is so that I reduce the chance of foreign debris getting inside the rear differential. Also, if you're looking at your rear differential, if you move to the left, and you look up a little bit, you'll see this tube here. This is a breather. This allows air to move out of the rear differential as gears are turning. Sometimes this gets clogged with dirt. So I'll go ahead and I'll clean this up as well. I'll just scrape it a little bit, clean it up, because that will affect the performance of your rear differential. Get in there with a brush. And if some of you guys go off-roading at all, uh, you're definitely a candidate <laughs> that you want to clean this off. Now I'll go ahead, and this is important, remove the fill plug first, then remove the drain plug. This is to ensure that just in case, if for some reason you can't bust this loose, you'll still be able to drive your car to a shop or whatever to get this off. If you take this off first, the drain bolt, uh, because then you may not be able to take off your fill plug and then you'll be stuck wherever you start this process. I have my socket in place, my wrench, and I'm not trying it with a breaker bar first. I'm gonna try just with a regular wrench and we'll see if this will bust loose. And it did, and that was pretty easy. It was put on correctly in the first place. These shouldn't be super tight on here here's your fill bolt now we'll go under here and remove the drain plug and i wanted to give you a better view of the drain plug there you have it there it's the bolt that's sitting right up in there it's 24 millimeter same deal i'll try this first with the regular socket wrench and if i need to i'll go to a breaker bar make sure your catch can is in place to catch the old oil and that wasn't too bad either. I'll go ahead and let that drain for about a minute or two, three minutes. I wanted to give you a closer view of drain and fill plugs. These are the crush washers. I'll put these to the side for now. Fill plug, nothing special about that. But here is your drain plug. As you see, there is a magnet on the end of this it does collect metal shavings. I don't know if you can see that well, but there are metal shavings on here. What you want to do is just clean that off. There you see, that's the, the metal shavings. Clean it off, clear it out of all the metal shavings, 
there is a little groove in there so you know you got to kind of dig in there to get it all out and if you see the groove around the edge just get in there and just kind of clean it all out you see i've gotten it pretty clean all the metal shavings have been removed from inside the groove most of them anyways now i'll go ahead and i'll swap out these washers old fresh washer removed new one installed just repeat the process for the fill plug old one removed new crush washer installed we're ready to go back on the rear differential now here is the gear oil i will be using again 75 weight 90. this is not what is spec in your owner's manual this is not what is in specified in your owner's manual just so youtube police don't get me but this is what I personally choose to use. Two reasons, one, it's readily available. It's easier to find than 80 weight 90. And then two, there's not that much of a difference between 80 weight 90 and 75 weight 90. So I'm comfortable using this variation. You may not be, so make sure you check down below for the exact gear oil you should use. It's listed down there in the tool description. And it's also in your owner's manual. And you'll need about three quarts of this stuff. It's not important to know exactly how much you need because just like your typical transmission uh, fill jobs, if you ever done one before, you just keep filling the case until the gear oil starts to trickle out of the fill hole, not the drain hole, but the fill hole. Once it starts to trickle out, you know that you've reached the optimum capacity of the case and you can stop filling. So you can go ahead and just remove the blue top. As you see, there's a little place here where you can cut. There's a line indicator where you should just cut there. You can reinstall the top so nothing spills out. My rear differential has drained pretty well so far. So I'll go ahead and I'll reinstall the drain fill plug again this is the one with the magnet on there that is your drain plug so go ahead and just screw it back on there if you remember in the beginning of the video i say that a torque wrench is optional and this is why uh this plug and also this plug they have about a 20 to 30 foot pound requirement down below in the video description i give you the exact number but that's fairly low it's typical to your oil plug drain, and I know most people don't use a, a torque wrench for that. I know I don't. So if you feel comfortable, in my opinion, you don't need a torque wrench to put these back on. Put it on there snug so that I don't have to worry about any leaks when I'm filling. And I'll go back, since I have the torque wrench out, I'll torque it down. With the drain plug reinstalled and tightened down, I'll go ahead and reposition my catch pan right under the fill hole. This is to catch any of the trickle that I'm looking for. Go ahead and get my bottle ready. Again, you'll need about three of these for this particular car model, uh, these one quart bottles. Here you go. Just remove the cap, go ahead and put it in the hole, and then start the squeeze. As you see now, excess gear oil is coming out. I let it drain just a little bit. It's like there's a lot in there, a lot of extra. It's coming out at a small trickle, so I'll go ahead and close it up. I'll go ahead and get it just a little tight. Now once you tighten everything down, and if you have a torque wrench, you torque it down the spec. Now let's go ahead and just clean up the area, just wipe it down a little bit, and you are complete. Job is done. Changing of your rear differential gear fluid is now complete. If you have any questions, please hit me up down below. Any comments, any tips, please comment down below. I'd love to hear tips from the community. It helps me out, helps other people in the community out. If you have anything that you can add, uh, as always, like, share. And I do these videos just because I've learned so much from YouTube. I'm just trying to pay it forward. As always, thanks for watching. I'm out.